What's up, you guys? It's Adana. So the age-old question of how do you live in PA school? Like, how do I pay for food? How do I pay for rent? How do I pay for gas? Like, what is it that I have to do when I'm in PA school to actually survive if I can't find a job or if I can't have a job? That is the question that we are going to be answering in today's video. Hey guys, it's Adana. Welcome Please back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So before I get into this video at all, well, I'm already in it, but in, in it, I wanted to tell you guys that I am doing a giveaway with the PA platform and Rosh Review so that 10 lucky subscribers, like of my subscribers and followers on Instagram will be able and eligible to win free access to Rosh Review's new PA Cat QBank. And if you know anything about PA school, you know that the PA Cat is the new test that has been rolling out over the past couple years uh, that more and more schools are adopting in conjunction with the GRE for entrance as a standardized test into PA school. So there's nothing else out there that exam masters who created the PA Cat actually endorses in terms of studying for the exam except for the Roush Review PA Cat uh, QBank. So if you are interested in winning <laughs> or being one of the lucky 10 to get this opportunity to get one of those free access for a year to the PA Cats QBank, you might wanna go follow all three platforms right now. Uh, Savannah, the PA platform, is doing her own, like we're, it's collaborative, but she has 10 to give away as well, so a total of 20. So if you wanna increase your chances, you have to follow all of us, okay? All right, so let's get into the video. I've been getting asked this question like a lot, a lot. I've had, I've made many and many and many of videos about like paying for PA school and you know, how do you survive in PA school? But I mean, obviously, like I'm getting new subscribers and new followers on a consistent basis and you guys don't know. And so I know that some of you have had, um, you know, questions about PA school. Maybe you've gotten into PA school and spoken to some programs and they're like, yo, you cannot work in PA school. We highly discourage it. Some schools um, actually like ban it or say it's not a discouragement. This is like a rule. Like, look, you are not working. If, you, if you're if you working, like that's that's a no, right? And so there are, are different stipulations, I guess you can say, when it comes to work in PA school because PA school is difficult. And therefore you have to put in the time, the work and the energy to ensure that you're passing, passing your test, passing your courses and ultimately passing PA school to become a PA. So with that being said, a lot of schools discourage against working. Now I had a question that was posed to me by Anaya Darling and she said, how do I pay rent if most PA schools strongly discourage working? Cause it often leads to failure. If I can't work, how do I pay rent to live? But if I work, I might fail. And that's like a legit, you know, like struggle or dilemma debacle to kind of be in because it's like, all right, well, I want to get into PA school because I want to be a PA, but yo, I have like responsibilities. I have to be able to work. Um, I have to be able to provide for myself. If you have a family, provide for my family. I have to be able to eat. Um, uh, and all of those things that come into uh, just being able to, to survive, right? And so with that being said, um, I wanted to just, again make this clear and and talk about this the subject again for you all so the majority of people do not work when they go to PA school and I know that that sounds kind of odd or crazy but it's not really because the majority of med students don't work either um, because all they're doing their job is to study and learn medicine your job is to learn the art the science the practice of medicine so that when you have to go out there and actually practice medicine you are competent and you're not taking people's lives right and you're not doing um like poorly and and having poor outcomes in in your your everyday career so with that being said many people take out loans and i know like a loan is like no i don't want to do a loan um and maybe you may be in a position and your pockets may be set up in a way where you have like 50 to 100 grand to kind of drop on a school and you know not have to take out a loan uh, but not everybody is 
set up that way. And so the majority of people take out loans. There are some people who actually still work full time while in PA school, but it's not easy. It's difficult. So if you're, if you have a job that will allow you to do that, you have a job that is set up in a way where you can actually like finagle your schedule around so that you're able to actually, um, work while going to PA school. And you think that you're able to, you know, just manage all of that and juggle all those balls, then do that. Uh, but for me, uh, that, well, first and foremost, I had to move out of state. So I wasn't trying to like look for a job and try to go to PA school. I knew like I was moving out of state because my end goal was PA. I wanted to become a PA. And so my focus was just school. Um, and that is the focus that most schools want you to emphasize on. They want you to emphasize on learning the material, learning the subject matter, and passing your classes. And that's why they, they discourage it. So they encourage taking loans, and there are lots of like financial advisors and planners and things like that, that the school you typically like puts you in connection with so that you're able to get the necessary loans that will help you pay for PA school and your living. How does that happen? I mean, so when you get a loan, you may get a loan for, I don't know, $80,000. Let's say your loan is $80,000, your school loan. So if it's like you're taking $80,000 of a school loan, but your schooling is only $50,000, uh, then there you go, you have $30,000 to live off of. And typically what happens is you get a refund check after you have, um, you know, started your program like it's usually that first month you get your refund check and you use that and you save and you spend your money wisely so it's important for you to plan 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 uh, if it is a matter of you already have some money set up and saved then do that you can still get a loan maybe your loan might be a little bit less uh, and, and cheaper so you don't necessarily have to go about actually you know taking out more than you need and that is an important thing for you to understand that you don't want to put yourself in unnecessary debt unnecessary debt there we go <laughs> you don't want to put yourself in unnecessary debt okay so this may be something that you you want to actually like sit down and think about whatever it is that you want to do on a monthly basis you plan that out you see exactly what those numbers will come out to be and then you apply for loans based on that number uh, and and only take out that amount because you're going to be owing money and you have to figure out like what is the best plan and attack plan and method to repay that money because it has to be repaid okay but ultimately people take out loans that is how you live that is how you survive i even got a loan it was a personal loan but i got a loan so it's and it has to be paid back and you know i'm in the process of doing that and that's fine because i'm at my end goal and now it's just a matter of tackling the debt that that i have you know the obligations that i have uh that i want to kind of get rid of in terms of paying back the people who invested in me and in my education okay so now I hope I answered your question you know you really just need to go ahead and do some research on all of the various different like scholarships and grants and loans that uh, the schools may offer and the government may offer to help you get into um, a position where you're able to pay for PA school and your life uh, and survive and be fine and then what options they have for repayment because there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of options for you when it comes to the back end when you've completed PA school and you get into a job with loan repayment um, in terms of your job paying off some of your loan and also loan repayment in terms of service like working in underserved areas okay all right thank you so much for that question you guys if you have any other the questions for me please leave them in the comment section below again go follow me on instagram edit on the pa the pa platform on instagram rosh review on instagram and get that's the university on instagram where we help you not only get into and through pa school um, if you follow all three of the first platforms that i've said you will have the opportunity to be entered in to win um, one of the 10 accesses that I have to give away and one of the 10 free accesses that Savannah has to give away for the Rosh Review PA Cat 
QBank, which is brand new and it's gonna help you study for the PA CAT. So you have to follow our Instagram platforms and of course comment so that we know like, hey, you're a new follower and you're trying to get into this this giveaway. The giveaway will be, um, the like we'll have a live stream kind of showing you exactly what the platform is about on Thursday and then the giveaway uh, like information in terms of the winners will be announced um, at a later date, okay? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.